All right, Shalom. First off, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Sim Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And it's a sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go on this topic, you know, about how we're oppressed and we're not really supposed to be depressed, you know. Uh, the inspiration from the, for this lesson came from uh, one of the live streams. Uh, somebody on a comment board said that they were depressed, you know, and really this isn't the time for the depression. You know, if you, if you're depressed, you know, it's something going on with you, you know, uh, you aren't putting your Bashim about some y'all first, you know, you're not being spiritual and you, you know, probably lack understanding, you know, as far as how, how the scriptures go, you're not applying the scriptures, you know, um, to your life. Because there's really no reason why we should be depressed if we're in the truth, you know. Um, being spiritual, you understand that the Lord is the reason for everything, you know. No matter which way you go, you know, whatever path you, you lead to, you know, whether it's the curses or the blessings or, you know, whatever goes on, uh, people dying, you know, that Yahweh Sim Yahweh is at the end of it, you know. Um I'm going to start off with the scripture, Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, you know. we supposed to be mad at everything that's going on, you know, whether it's from our families, you know, um, your children, your woman, you know, your mother, you know, your your uh, father. Um, even in some cases for the, the women, of you know, who, who study the truth, you know, uh, you, you got things that's out here that's that's oppressing you you know some people are going through um you know uh, financial problems you know somebody might die but you you understand that the lord you know he's the one who who's able to bless you you know so like in this society we're being oppressed by the so-called white man you know in every which way so i mean which way possible you know what we, we don't control anything you know, and this, this society has to go, you know, honestly, because like the Negroes, Latinos, and the Native Americans, like this is a bad memory for us, you know, this is a memory that has to be taken away, you know, so if you, if you are depressed, you know, you basically are losing sight on the main goal, you know, the main goal is our kingdom, where righteousness is, you know, we'll be able to keep the law, statutes, and commandments, you know, have everlasting life. You won't have to worry about um, the the bull crap that comes along with the society anymore. You know, so it says solely oppressing, make it for wise man mad. You know, we we got a lot of things that are in our life that are trying to deter us from the path and, and being close to Yahweh by some Yahweh You know. And that's one thing that should make you mad, you know, the fact that there's so many things out here that are trying to uh, get you off of, get, make you lose focus, you know, your main focus should be on your how about some you you know, and, and if you are depressed, you, you basically, it, it, it goes into, you know, the fear of the Lord, you know, you sp you supposed to fear your how about some you to know that, hey, you know, like he can make it worse. He could just straight put you to death, you know, but he's, he's keeping you alive. You know, he's preserving you. So you supposed to, you know, keep that faith. This is uh second Corinthians 13 and five. Examine thyself, I mean, examine yourselves, whether you be in the faith, right? Prove your own selves. You got to continuously pray, you know? The scripture says, pray without ceasing. It says, know ye not your own selves, how that Yahweh Shah is in you, except you be reprobates, you know? And if you are depressed, like, no matter what somebody says, they could be like, okay, well, let's go to the store, you know? In a, in a depressed state of mind, you, nah, I'm, I'm cool, man. I'm, you know, I'm just do this, you know, I'm a feel, I'm a, I'm a just chill, man, you know? You're not supposed to be in that type of spirit, man, you know? Now, we are in the flesh, you know, 
we 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 can get weak, you know. That's not to say that you can't get weak or that you, you know, something happens like you can't feel some type of way. But you're supposed to be spiritual to the point where if you lose your car or if you lose something, you know that Yahweh Hashem Yahushua took it, man. He's going he's going to bless you, man. You know you gotta keep the faith in in Yahweh Hashem Yahushua in something that you you can't see, you know. Cause that's what with with faith is, you know. Um. Luke 12 and 34. And take heed to yourselves, right? Take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfing, right? Now, surfing, we're going to the Greek. It says, the giddiness and headache caused by drinking wine to assess, right? Now, the the when you go into the word giddiness or being giddy, you know that's basically being insane. And I'll go into it, you know, just for edification purposes. Cause that being depressed is basically a demon. You know, a demon can hop up on you in that that uh that way. It says uh giddy. Insane, mad, stupid, perhaps literally, possessed by a spirit, you know? So when you worry about you being depressed, whether you can, you can be depressed that you're not where you want to be at in life, you know? So that, that could be a demon that just hop up on you that just makes you feel like you got to be somewhere in life, you know, that you got to look some, some type of way. You know, some guys they 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 so used to having uh having shape ups and stuff like that. Now you know you can't do that no more. So guys wanna you know they they want to to sin, you know, so badly, and that's basically a demon hopping up on you. You know, that's telling you to you know continue to follow the philosophies of this world. You know, drinking wine to assess. You know, getting a headache. You know. It says, uh, this is Luke 21 to 34. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfing, right? And drunkenness, right? And cares of this life. Everything over here in this world right now is a stance, you know, in Esau's world is temporary, you know? Our lives are temporary, our clothes are temporary, you know, our everything materialistic, you know, some friendships are temporary, you know, some people are just here today and gone tomorrow, you know, but we're not supposed to let that deter us from Yahweh Bassim Yahweh It says, uh, in cares of this world, I mean, of this life, and so that day come upon you unawares, you know, you, you, you're not uh praying you know watching and praying for the day of the lord you know that day is going to come you know upon you unaware you know when you least expect it you know so this ain't the time to be uh dep depressed you know we facing oppression you know and and we don't need to be facing depression you know we supposed to be in a a, a spirit you know it's the time and place for everything you know i'm going to get that and i'm going to close it on that scripture, um, it says, uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and 1, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven, a time to be born and a time to die. You know, this is, you, you, if you're spiritual, you will understand this, you know. It says, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep. A time to laugh. Right? Right now, it's, this is this is a weeping, you know what I'm saying, stage, you know, because, you know, like, like this this society is, is depressing, of course, you know, but it's more so oppressing, you know, like that, that, that flat earth doctrine. That's oppressing, you know. Guys want to stay in here that long, you know, in America, you know, it says a time and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. 
A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. And right now we're in the time of hating. You know, it says a time of war and a time of peace. And right now we're in a time of, of war. You know, we we got all these things, you know, like like that we got to go through. You know, this is all, all a part of life. You know, it's, it's, right now we're in a time of war. You know, of course, if somebody falls out, you know, you, you sit up there and be like, damn, that's fucked up. Like, but you're not supposed to let it get to you. You know, no matter what is 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 going on in your life, you're not supposed to let it get to you. You know, you, like I said, you we we in the flesh, so it's going you're gonna have them times where you might mourn. You know, you might cry. You know, your was shot uh, wept. You know, so we're gonna have those times. You know, we're in the spirit. We in, I mean, we're in the flesh. You know, it's gonna be those times. But when you when you have that 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 demon when you're surfing, you know, and you got that demon on you. You know, you care about the, the ways of this world, you know, the cares of this life, you know, that day of the Lord is going to come upon you unaware, man. And with that, hopefully you guys have been uh, edified, you know, um, we give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh by Shem Shah, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, and the sincere Salawam to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Salawam.